The last of Jesus I am statements can be found in John chapter 15 and again Jesus is drawing on an Old Testament image. In John chapter 15 Jesus introduces a, a new name or a new identity and this time he says I am the true vine and he's drawing on an Old Testament image in Psalm 80 and Jeremiah 2 and in Isaiah. We regularly see that the nation of Israel is viewed as being a vine and a vine that's been planted into the most beautiful uh, fruitful land in order to be the source of life for the nations. Unfortunately the history of Israel is that they didn't live up to this reputation, they didn't live up to this uh, role, this purpose that they'd been given and so really what we have is an unfulfilled promise in the Old Testament of potential an unfulfilled purpose of the planting, that they produce bad fruit instead of good fruit. And into this, Jesus comes claiming to be the true vine. In other words, he's coming to fulfill the purposes of God. And we can draw on a number of images about a vine to help us understand that further. The first of these is that a vine needs to be fruitful. Vines have one purpose, and that is to bear grapes. And a vine that doesn't bear grapes is not really good for anything other than firewood. And I'm not even sure it's great firewood either. And it's a picture that actually we don't want to accept second best. We're meant to fulfill the purpose of bearing fruit. And that's what Jesus intended for his people. The second aspect we see is that a vine needs to be pruned. You have to cut off the dead wood and shape the fruitful branches in order for them to, to bear more fruit. To increase the capacity, there needs to be the discipline of discipleship. And what we see is you have to cut through uh, things in order to, to reach fruitfulness. Uh, and again, with a vine, that's another image that God wants to, do, to bring. The third aspect of vines is that vines need to be connected to the roots. If they're not connected to the roots of the vine, then they become withered and dry. They don't bear fruit. They become useless because they're not drawing the nutri nutrients up through the roots, through the ground. You see, the branches have to be connected to the trunk. That has to be connected to the roots. And again, there's a picture of resting in God and living in relationship. And that's how it's meant to be. The fourth aspect of vines is that vines need to bear good fruit because if they don't, they're just going to be cut off. When you have a wine, it talks about a good vintage and a good year. And sometimes you can get bad years. But if you've got a, a vine that is growing bad fruit, ultimately it's going to be cut off. We have an image of uh, living life in the spirit in the Bible. And as we live life in the spirit, we're meant to bear fruit. And we're meant to bear fruit that reflects the character and the beauty of God. It's the natural product of a healthy life. Vines also need to be fed. The roots have to be in good soil and you need to put the right nutrients, the manure around the fruit a tree to make it grow. Um, they have to draw up the nutrients. And again, if we're going to be a healthy vine, then we have to ask the questions of what's feeding us. But vines also need to feel the warmth of the sun because without the warmth of the sun, the fruit doesn't ripen. They have to enjoy the warmth. And again, that's a picture where we need to enjoy the warmth of the love of God. We need to ask what's feeding us, but also bask in and enjoy the love of God. Hang on a minute, you might say. I thought this was about Jesus revealing himself as the true vine, yet you're talking about um, us and how we live. Well, that's because the picture that Jesus gives us is as he's the true vine, he requires us to be branches that are connected to the true vine. In other words, Jesus is giving us a picture of the church and what he wants the church to be. But as he's the true vine, we're to reflect his character in the way that we live as a church. We're meant to live in the love of God. We're meant to know him as the source of joy, the, of hope, of meaning. Um, he's the way to live fruitful lives. And church growth comes from being rooted in him. Being people of the presence of God, connected to the power of God. You see, the picture of the true vine is that Jesus is the source of purpose that comes through connection.